who's talking at you for the next 15 minutes. My name is Mary Sherhart. I am a senior talent acquisition specialist with Dominion Energy. I've been with the company for about four years in the talent acquisition space. Prior to that, I've been four years in staffing, um, so a total of eight years. And I source for a lot of our uh, HR, environmental, and uh, legal positions, as well as some engineering. And I'm going to let my colleague Garrett introduce himself. Yeah, hi everybody. And uh, Mary, I'm not sure if you're actually sharing your presentation or not. No. I can't see it. <clears throat> I don't need it to talk about myself though. I can do that on my own. <laughs> yeah. So I'm with the talent acquisition team as well. I'm fairly new to the team. I've only been here about three and a half, four months, uh, but I did come from a staffing and uh, recruiting background. Um, I currently work on the engineering side, the IT side, as well as our CFO and audit side. So that's all of our accounting and uh, finance groups uh, for the most part. And I'm a history major uh, and I went to Christopher Newport uh, University. Awesome. Thanks, Garrett. We'll hear more from Garrett later, so stay tuned. Okay, so I always like to talk about where we've been because we've come a lot of different places. Um, and one of the areas that a lot of people don't really realize that we've come from is we originally started as the upper Appomattox um, company, which really focused on canal ways. Uh, so we were really working with water rights and down there you can see some of the canals that focus in Richmond, Virginia. There's a lot of different uh, canals in the area. And then from there, we went to the electric streetcar company uh, here in Richmond, Virginia. And so you can see some of the, the street lines as well as the streetcars um, that we had earlier on in our fleet. From there, we were kind of like, well, we want to get the, the power to our customers into our streetcars. So how do we think about that? And that led us down the path, the path to power generation. Um, so that's where we really kind of focused more on how we can generate the electricity and get it to our customer. And then in 1970, a little bit more recently, we were the Virginia Electric Power and Company, FEPCO. You can probably ask a lot of your parents if they're familiar with that, um, if, if they're from the Virginia area. But from it, while we were in that, um, while we were designated FEPCO, we were in front of one of the first utilities to really launch an environmental group. Um, so that was a major change and a major focus for the company. We were, um, again, one of the largest investor owned companies to really launch that and really take care of like our environmental impact. So that was a pretty big deal. Um, but now let's focus on where we're going, which is really cool. This is the exciting stuff. Where we've been is cool, but where we're we going is next. So you can see we're committed to net zero. Uh, we have a uh, 2050 net zero commitment. So we wanna have no uh, greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, which is pretty, it's definitely a big deal. It's a pretty big uh, commitment we've made. So how do we how do we plan on achieving that? Uh, we're going to focus a lot more on solar right now. We're the fourth largest utility uh, that has a solar fleet, which is really big and really exciting. But we hope to be number one. So we're launching a number of new solar projects. We're also launching our offshore wind um, farm out in the Atlantic Ocean. It's about 27 miles off the bay. Um, right now we have two pilot turbines up and functioning. Uh, they are the beginning of the project, and it'll be about 181 turbines total. And by the end of 2025, it'll be able to power a half a million homes in Virginia. So really excited about that. In addition to that, uh, we still are going to have our nuclear generation, as well as some of our, our coal and then our low carbon natural gas and our renewable natural gas, which is really exciting to talk about. Um, so new renewable natural gas is where we take the methane from from pigs and cows and we capture that and turn it into electricity. So that's pretty cool. A lot of new innovative things happening. So who we are right now, we have our headquarters here in Richmond, Virginia. So we are a Virginia based company. Um, we have a presence in 16 different states and we power over 700 million or 7 million customers that rely on us. We have 17,000 employees ranging from everything under the sun, construction to engineering to IT to lawyers. Garrett and I can confirm we've hired for a lot of different positions. So a lot of different employees help keep us moving. And our vision, I'll move out of the way, building a clean and sustainable energy future is our mission. So we're definitely keeping sight of that.
Core values. So we have five core values. The first one is safety. This is our topmost priority, especially with everything going on right now. We want to make sure all of our employees come to work and leave the same way they originally came. So we want to make sure everybody's safe. Even in HR, where we don't really go out in the field, the field very often, we're pretty much in the office. We still have safety meetings before every um, safety conversations before every meeting. We want to make sure all of our employees are being mindful about trip hazards and what's going on in the environment. Um, so definitely have those. Ethics. This is where our reputation really plays a role. We want to make sure we're a company that's doing things right. Uh, so that's our second core value, and that's really one of the top ones. Um, excellence. Again, clean, sustainable uh, energy getting to our customers can't do that if we're not being excellent in everything we do. Embrace change. And boy, did we all have to embrace change these past few years. Um, that was definitely something we rolled out back in 2019 um, and really wanted to make sure as a company we were pivoting in the right direction toward renewables, toward green, uh, green energy and all of that. And then One Dominion Energy. At the end of the day, we all have the same mission and the same vision, and that's to get energy to our customers. So we all try and remember we're on the same team. I'm going to let Garrett talk about the intern program. Uh, thank you, Mary. Yep. So um, so first I want to start off by saying that all of our internships are paid internships. Um, we do provide some. <laughs> absolutely. That's awesome. So we do provide uh, housing stipends uh, for those that qualify. And usually that's going to be dependent on your location from the job itself. Uh, that may or may not come in, into play this time around. Um, it's still being decided, but many will probably be virtual, uh, depending on where we are next summer, um, or they could be hybrid, like we are right now for the rest of, uh, or most of Dominion's employees. Uh, most will be 10 to 12 weeks in length, um, usually starting in May, running through August. Um, certainly we'll We'll be gaining some professional development, um, and that's going to depend on on your area. But you know, training and development within your specific you know major, uh, or that's purposeful for your major, will definitely be there. Uh, we do have intern social series. Uh, I didn't know what this was uh, either, but uh, <laughs> so the cool thing is that you know with during these internships, you'll have some opportunities to do some networking. Um, so these can be in the form of roundtables coffee conversations, FaceTime Fridays. Um, there might be some, again, there might be some intern or in-person um, events, but again, that remains to be seen. Otherwise, they're going to be virtual, which we're all used to. Um, job shadowing in different departments. There are some internships that are specifically listed as rotation internships. And if you see that, that's those mean that you will be uh, like say for instance in a um, if you were in a finance rotation you would be getting experience in maybe four or five six different areas of the finance department so you get kind of a taste of different aspects of dominion energy and kind of can figure out which parts you like the best um, because not everything is going to be <laughs> what you want to do um, and we certainly have volunteering projects uh, volunteering is um, pretty big here at dominion energy we're all encouraged to do volunteering, um, to give back to our communities. And so you will be able to take part in a project, typically some kind of project within your own uh, work environment or within your own community rather, um, which is kind of neat as well. And that'll be count towards your, your internship too. So um, we're gonna talk about it a little bit later in a later you know, few slides away. Uh, we don't have, but I do wanna mention, we don't have a ton of internships currently listed. So if you have, you're probably going to have those questions. I can certainly talk to you about them as well. Um, my suggestion is to make a profile on our website, on our career website. That way you can get the notification of when the jobs are available. Uh, fun fact, that's how I was notified about my job when it became available as well. So it does work. <laughs> uh, and we are going to have many, many internships that are coming available in the coming weeks. So. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, we. This is a major element for the company. We do really like to focus on our interns and kind of highlight um, where they can go. Um, a number of our executives have started as interns, and so they are really passionate about the program. Moving on. Are you on my mouse? Does not want to work. 
So another element for interns is our diversity school uh, scholarship program, and I say interns, but just students in general. Um, so this is designed for minority and female students, and if you want uh, clarity about what minority means, please reach out. Um, but typically, if it's anybody who is a, a person of color or who identifies under the LGBTQ, just a differently abled or veteran status. Um, but the diversity scholarship program is a fantastic program. Uh, is it has a $5,000 award to it. And we uh, winners are brought in for DSP days, which are a lot of fun. Uh, so they were held virtually this past this past year. Uh, we brought in folks from innovation and they got to talk to a lot of different directors across, across the company. So it was a really small like get together uh, where they got to design their own projects and kind of put things together and talk to other students across um, across the nation really. So that was really fun. Um, after accepting an intern, qualified applicants can still apply. Uh, so definitely keep this in mind uh, if you're looking for like a scholarship program or just a boost. And we also have the Veterans Service Award, which is very similar, uh, another scholarship program, uh, which is also $5,000 for students who are also veterans. And then diversity and inclusion, such a important topic. And I meant to update uh, this slide because now it's diversity, equity, and inclusion for Dominion Energy. But I do really want to talk about this. Um, one of the key elements to how our company functions is having a great workforce um, and highlighting diversity. So we really, really appreciate this. And we do that through a lot of different ways, but one of the main ways is our employee resource groups. We have a total of eight uh, and they're all laid out there. So wide variety, I encourage everybody to get involved in at least one, I think I'm involved in four, um, but they're a lot of fun. They host uh, educational events, um, really great opportunity to network with people outside of your current silo, talk to people across the company in entirely different departments and learn what they do. So it's a lot of fun to get involved in them. We also really focus on supplier diversity. We want to make sure the suppliers we bring in are, are, are vetted by our supply, our supply chain group and really value the same values we have. Um, so we wanna make sure that they still have the same core values, sustainability missions and all of that. That's really important to us. And then community involvement. We really wanna make sure, uh, since we are such a large part of the community that we give back. Uh, so we have eight hours of uh, volunteer time that our employees can go and use in whatever ways they want. So we do community cleanups and all of that stuff. Um, so that's always a lot of fun. I always look forward to those days. And Garrett mentioned this earlier, but if you're curious in, about Dominion Energy and about an internship with us, um, you don't have to go through and comb our career page every single day. You can go to our career page, um, dominionenergy.com slash careers, uh, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And there's a section called Stay Connected, and you can click sign up now and create an account and already up, update your profile and upload a resume. We can already find you in our system and reach out if we see something that's interesting. Also, you can create job alerts. Um, and Garrett mentioned this is how he found out about his job, uh, but you can set up alerts for anything that you'd want, internship, engineer, all of that. Um, so I highly recommend that you guys do this. This is very helpful. And that's it for the deck. It's now time for questions. What questions do you guys have? How many interns do you take per year and how many apply? Great question. There's a lot of applications. Typically, we have about 250 interns every year, um, and that's across our footprint. The majority of them do, I guess, are here in Virginia, but we still have, you know, 50 out in uh, Utah and several down in South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, so we have about 250 um, intern roles, but applications. How many would you say, Garrett? Is it is it like 600? Is it closer to 1,000? Yeah, I mean, that sounds good. That sounds about right. Yeah. It, it, it's, is, a, it's a lot. It is, it is mm -hmm. a lot. And it's competitive, which is why I always encourage interns. It's annoying, but include a cover letter. Um, I've seen it make the difference for, for things like internships. You can have a great interview, um, but I've seen hiring leaders come down to two candidates and they're like, you know what? This one had a cover letter. I really like what they had to say and they got the internship. So it's one more step, and yes, I know it's annoying, but it makes a difference. Minimum GPA is another good question. Some of them have a 3.0 GPA requirement. For example, our diversity student conference, I think had a 3.2 GPA requirement, but some of our interns can go um, as far down as 2.7. 
they will be listed on the job requirements because Great they point. can be kind of yeah <laughs> they can be all over and you have to really check that mm -hmm. and please check it yeah that'll be a question even when you go to apply there's a screening question it'll ask you what your gpa is Ooh, resume and cover letter stand out. Ooh, we're getting into it. That's a really great question. How much time do y'all have? So one of the things that I really like to do, um, if you don't have previous work experience, that's fine. Not all of our hiring leaders need to have somebody who has, who's been working directly in that industry. What is more important is what you've done beyond just your coursework. So highlight if you've been in, in, involved in any kind of extracurricular activities. It can be sports. It can be um, fraternities, sororities, whatever you've been involved in, um, and then really highlight some of what that has, what has it helped you. And cover letters, they don't have to be long, but just a way for you to kind of describe your experience and why you're interested in Dominion. It takes a quick Google to kind of figure out what we're about as a company and, and make sure you've kind of done your research. Is there anything you would add, Garrett? You've done, you've done this for a while too. Uh, no, I think I think we're, you know, what you're saying is 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 correct. I hear a lot from hiring managers. Um, you know, they're looking for they're looking for folks that are going to ask a lot of questions. That are going to, I know this term sounds very generic, but like self starters, like you know, people, you know, they're going to ask questions. They're really interested in what we do and learning more about it. They they mention those kind of things all the time. That those people just always stick out in their minds um, when they're going to you know fill those positions later on. So. And I see another question. Do you need a sp uh, sponsor for an H-1 visa? We do have positions that do um, offer sponsorship um, for an H-1 visa. So if you if that is something that you need moving forward, yes, we do have positions that can support it. To be honest, there are not a lot of them, but they are they are there. I don't know if you answered the other question about sophomores. Most the majority of our internships, the majority of them, not to say that it's <laughs> going to be all, are 2023 to 2024. Uh, grads is what they're typically listed as. Um, but yeah, I've only been with the company for, again, a really short amount of time. And with the amount of internships that will be open, there might be some that are out, outliers. And and that's a good point. Some of their hiring leaders really do like to bring back interns. We've You've gone through all of that trouble to train somebody. They've, they're now up to speed by the end of the summer. And so they're kind of like, well, let's just bring them back. So we do have returning internship requisitions designed specifically for a, a candidate who was just really stellar the year before. So that's why they like to bring it back. Any other questions? MBA graduate students, another great question. Um, so we do have some graduate level interns. It is very dependent on the department, um, but we do have, I have definitely seen them, um, some of which have been MBA. So stay tuned for that. It just depends on what this year will bring. Garrett, do you want to answer the company culture one? Um, sure, yeah. So, I mean, we already kind of mentioned part of it. The, I think the ERGs are a really cool part of our, our culture. Um, those kind of events are going on constantly. Um, I think we have a fall festival coming up for one, um, and which I'm kind of looking forward to. Um, so that's really neat. Um, people are fantastic. Uh, communication is great uh, between groups and between leadership. Um, uh, being such a large company, you'd think that you know most people get kind of lost in the shuffle. I don't really see that here at all. Um, you know, being able to to speak your mind and and kind of get um get uh, ask you know asking questions things like that that you can get you can get answers to your questions from leadership uh, easily so i think the company culture is, is fantastic i don't know if you have other things to add mary having been here for <laughs> a very long time so i've been here for not a very long time but just for a little bit um and I and I will say I haven't I've seen the company kind of change its culture. You know, anytime you're dealing with a hundred year old company, change takes time. Um, but I've seen us definitely pivot with things like the the pandemic and things like that. Uh, it seems like a lot of individuals or a lot of employees are open to the conversation of innovating and figuring out new ways to do things, which is not very common. I feel like I feel like that's pretty um, in other utilities and other industries. It, it can be a little stagnant. 
but it is nice to work here. I, I think it's always something new. At least I learn something new every day about our company. And the cybersecurity related jobs, yes. And in fact, we currently are hiring. Our cybersecurity group is such a fascinating group to work with. They, um, they have to stop quite a bit of, of attacks uh, simply because we power things like the White House and the Pentagon and the shipyard. Uh, so we power quite a number of things that a lot of um, infiltrators would like to get a hold of. So our cybersecurity team is really vamped up and they do a lot of work to make sure we're really safe. So we do have openings, actually right now, if you're interested. Can I ask about the 85% uh, uh, conversion rate that you mentioned on one of the slides? Can you explain what uh, what you did mean by uh, conversion rate? Sorry, in terms yeah. Of yeah, so for the 85% the of the people who completed or students who completed an internship, they also received a full-time offer from us. So that's that conversion rate from intern to full-time employee or at least an offer. I think the acceptance rates was, I think it was 92, so maybe there was one person who said no, but that's okay. Okay, does that, thank you. Does that answer it? Good eye, that, that was a good question, good eye. That's a very, very high conversion rate. Just let you know, for, for most companies. Yep, people tend to stay around. Um, I think our average tenure, I think it's about five to 10 years. At one point it was 15 to 20. Uh, so we've had a lot of employees who, who've definitely come in and, and just like what they do. There's so many options across the company. So if there's something you're, not, you're interested in, there's a lot of opportunities to go over and explore. Uh, we see that happen all the time. That can relate back to the company culture part as well. Yeah, she's right. Even in my short tenure, I, I see it all the time. You know, people, if they're interested in something else within the company, because we're so large, there's so many different opportunities you can do. Uh, and because we do have a, a value of one dominion, you know, getting that education about what that other group do does, you know, on a day to day basis, you know, it's very easy to do. So people uh, can move around and, and make their entire career here if they wanted to. And I'm so glad you asked about tuition reimbursement, Joe. Um, so we we have tuition reimbursement um, as, as part of our benefits. And so we we cover uh, twenty five hundred for a for a semester, I believe. Um, so that and that's who our reimbursement. And that that's how I got my master's. I utilized that reimbursement program for my HR master's. Great. Other people's money. Good. Well, mine first, and then I got yeah, other people's money. That helps. Um, but it is for it's offered day one for all of our employees. So I know individuals who started, they were, you know, they're really excited about their employment. And then we were like, also, do you want to go get your associates or bachelors? And they were like, yes. Um, so, and there's, uh, for bachelors, I don't think there's any um, leeway as far as like, you have to stick true to what you're actually doing currently with your master's degree, or if you're going to get a PhD, it's a little bit more of a conversation about, is this relevant to your current workload? Savannah asked, for first year students, what do you recommend they do to build their resume and skills before applying to internships later in the college career? I wish, some, I wish I had asked that question when I was in college. I didn't even think about internships. I was so focused on what I was doing in college. Um, but I followed a lot of my interest and that helped me a lot too. So I actually became involved in theater um, and was able to kind of um, do, a, do some things with that. Not on the acting side. I'm not an actor. Definitely building sets and things like that. So that offered a lot of learning uh, for me and, and just showcased it, that I was willing to learn something even outside of my psychology major. Um, and I encourage students to go do that. Explore something they're really interested in that is very different than what they're currently studying. And it shows um, you know, that, they're, that they have that hunger to learn. Garrett, would you add anything? That's a hard question. Uh, yeah, just elaborate on like volunteer work. Um, yeah, joining clubs, things like that. If you don't, if you don't have the work experience and, and obviously internship experience because you're a first year student, those are excellent opportunities to kind of, you know, get get out there and do something outside of just you know what's immediately involved in school. So, and we look for that on resumes. We make sure we see mm -hmm. that somebody that a student is well rounded. Yeah. Um, it's love. It's great to be focused on what you're what you're studying, and sometimes we all know we're that's all we can do at that time. Um, but it is nice to see that, hey, on every other Friday, I, I go volunteer and walk a dog or help help with a cleanup or something like that. Also, put it on your resume. So many students are so involved in things that if don't put it on their resume. 
What's my favorite part working at Dom- the people? I think we work with such fantastic people and they're brilliant. And every day I talk to somebody and it's just awesome. Um, I I get to talk about a company who's doing all of the right things, I think. And, and as far as like energy and our environmental stance, I think we're moving in the right direction, which is exciting. And in an innovative way, talking about really cool projects, the offshore wind stuff, I can talk you anybody's ear off for a long period of time. Um, but even what we're doing for broadband, we have a broadband initiative and we're getting COVID highlighted parts of our community that don't have access to a sustainable um, internet. And so we said we have the facilities and the poles and you can use our poles to get to the broadband. So that's just another way we're kind of being involved with the community. So it's a company that's doing really cool things and I get to talk about it. That's great. Is there any other questions from the students, guests? Yep, we're coming up about time. Well, this was great. Thank you so very much for uh, being with us. Uh, I learned a lot of st- stuff about Dominion Energy. In fact, you know, if anything comes up, like I said, give me a call. Maybe I'll come on over to Dominion. <laughs> Um, and, and this is a great opportunity for our students. Uh, seems like you guys have really some great benefits and a great corporate culture. Um, so I hope our students really consider you guys. Thank you so much for letting us come in and talk. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Awesome. Everybody stay safe. Thank you. you.